Welcome back to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Rob Dew. Now, I mentioned right before we went to break on why you should not become a CIA or FBI informant. Well, for one reason, you're going to be setting up all kinds of people, and I don't know if you want that type of dirty laundry on your soul as you go through this life. Two, they're probably going to double cross you, and three, they might even kill you in the end. You never know. Let's go to this Mail Online article. My CIA handlers cheated me out of $5 million, then set a trap to murder me. He was the spy who risked everything to bring down top terrorists. His reward? To become a target himself. So mouthful of a headline there. But it's about the story of Murad Storm, a.k.a. Morton Storm, who became a MI5 asset, and then he got in with the CIA, and he actually helped track down Anwar al you might remember him from the 2002 article that said uh, terrorists dined at the Pentagon. There's a picture of him right there. He actually went to a Pentagon dinner after 9-11. That's how dangerous this man was. We had to have him in the Pentagon. Well, as you know, just a few years ago, we tracked him down via drone and shot him and his son with a missile. Well, Morton Storm claims he is the man who helped do that and his I guess reward or punishment? Well, his reward was one, he didn't get any of the money that was promised him, the $5 million. They said, no, they need him to go do more. And in the end, he talks about how he felt like he was double crossed and he even had a source came up, come up to him and say, hey, when you were down there with Al Qaeda, they were planning on taking you out with them. So it just goes to show you, you gotta watch who you're doing business with. We've covered this countless times on the InfoWars Nightly News, and Alex has covered it even before that, of people getting involved with the FBI and turning people in on basically fake evidence or going out with money and trying to buy people to turn them into terrorists. And with that, we go to his report by Joe Biggs. Right now, we really don't have a lot of domestic terrorists. So the FBI is getting bored. So they're creating bad guys to go after. It's like Batman in Gotham City running out of the Joker, Two-Face, and then finding someone else and pissing them off and getting them to go out so he has someone to fight. That's all the FBI is doing right now. Can the federal government take credit for saving us from a plot of its own creation? The FBI has foiled about 17 plots to kill Americans. The 17 that were interrupted by the feds were created by the feds. But the more curious cases are the remaining 17 for which the federal government has taken credit. They all have a common and reprehensible thread. They were planned, plotted, controlled, and carried out by the federal government itself. Right now we have the case in Florida. Marty Winters is a 55-year-old prepper. It's usually the, the, the good family right down the street that you know to, that goes to church every day, hardworking Americans who pay their bills. And really all they're doing is they're just trying to prepare in case something bad happens, what's wrong with that? You know, the way our government's going right now, the way our economy is, it looks like that is a possibility that, you know, everything could collapse. So what's wrong with being prepared? Our government wants us to be prepared for a worst case scenario by forcing us to buy Obamacare, but we as Americans can't prepare. We can't go out and buy MREs. We can't have, you know, water purification devices and stored water, guns and ammunition, just to be on the safe side. And this man, had FBI agent infiltrate his River Otter Prepper group and say that he had 50 AK-47s buried across his properties. He had a house that was booby-trapped that he would catch on fire, and when federal agents showed up, it would kill them. Now, after the search warrant was given, they went in and found five legally registered guns in a safe. No huge weapons cache that the FBI informant who was embedded in there said that he had. And there were no homes out of the properties that he owned that were rigged to blow up. You know, it wasn't this huge elaborate scheme that the FBI made it out to be. You know, they just wanted to go after a guy who was a prepper who wants to preach and, you know, a friendly neighbor guy and demonize this man. This is the new normal. I mean, in, in a sense, when, you know, you mentioned Kwasi Nafis, for example, the man who um, tried to detonate a bomb at the Federal Reserve Building. You know, here was a guy who had nothing. He never had access to any weapons. He never had any contact with Al-Qaeda or a terrorist organization. It was actually an undercover agent who provided everything he needed, provided the bomb, provided the transportation, provided the money, and that allowed him to commit this crime. What we're seeing more and more in these sting operations is people who are on the fringes, who are desperate, sometimes mentally ill, and they're the ones being, being caught uh, in these sting operations. 
Well, as you can see, the FBI obviously doesn't have our best interests in mind at all. You know, they have funded almost every single domestic terrorist incident in America. Underwear bomber, 93 at the Twin Towers or the World Trade Center when the car bomb went in and blew up and killed some people and injured a lot more. They have a history of taking these people and taking their simple, small idea that was never going to turn into anything and then give them the money and the weapons to pull it off. Globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com.